Okay, so a friend of mine asked me to translate uh, somebody else. Uh, and as an example, he gave me Alfaro, uh, Enrique Alfaro, who is the governor of Jalisco. And there was a uh, situation that happened with some demonstration where some uh, young man was killed by the name of Giovanni. And uh, I understand that several people disappeared at that time, uh, were taken away by the police and were never heard from again. But this is his explanation about what happened. And so I'm going to translate it. Here goes. En el que nos asocia tiene dos sentimientos en contra. Muy buenas noches. Good Aquí evening. Voy al de I'm directing myself towards the people of Jalisco. Sabiendo que estamos en un momento difícil. En and, el que nos asocia. And I realize that we're going through some difficult times. La sociedad tiene dos sentimientos en contra where the people or our city has two uh, feelings that are meeting uh, together in the center. Un lado, la indignación por la muerte de Giovanni a manos de policías municipales. And there is one part that is feeling indignation about the death of Giovanni by, at the hands of the municipal police. Es la boca de los membrillos. Por otro lado, de la preocupación y yo que en algunos hasta la molestia and the other side has to do with the preoccupation and I believe that they feel bothered por los hechos que vimos hoy en el centro de nuestra ciudad en el corazón de Guadalajara because of the acts that they witnessed today in the center that is the heart of Guadalajara quiero dirigirme a ustedes hablando eh, de manera franca de, de abuso Oh, wow. wow. I accidentally. So I accidentally hit the wrong button. Sorry. He says, so today I want to tell you he wants to say that behind this story there's a lot of lies that have been coming out little by little. De esta historia, hay otras and behind these stories, there's other intentions que irán en el paso del that will be left in evidence as the time passes by. Pero lo en este es dejar but what is important at this time is to, claro que to make it very clear that the government of Jalisco has been punctual and very precise in its actions. Esta no será una más and this will not be a story of impunity, another story of uh, impunity. La and we share your indignation at what happened in Isoab of Rocan de los Membrillos. Compartimos La molestia, o la and we share the botheredness de estos que han usado de forma indebida. of the behavior of these uh, policemen that act in this way Fuerza pública. by using public force. Me he y yo se mi palabra. And I have committed myself and I do know how to uh, comply with my word. A que los responsables de estos hechos pagarán por ello. In other words, to keep my word, and that the ones that are responsible for this will be paying for it. Que va a aplicarse todo el peso de la ley. And we will apply the full force or weight of the law. En las próximas horas habrá noticias al respecto. And within the next few hours, there shall be news regarding that matter. Pero al margen de esto, lo que hoy sucedió en el centro de Guadalajara but at the margin of this, what happened today in the city of Guadalajara tiene que verse desde otra has to be looked at from another angle or perspective. A una legítima manifestación y a un if this was a legitimate manifestation un reclamo justo, or a claim that was just, lo invadieron intereses de otra naturaleza. Uh, it was invaded by interests of another nature. Lo a otro 
and they took it to another territory. Hoy lo que vimos fue un acto de violencia que nunca habíamos visto. Or terrain. And what we saw today was acts of violence which we had never seen before. La ciudad. Así no. In our city. Nos manifestamos los tapatíos. And we from Tapatío do not manifest ourselves in this way. En esta ciudad ha habido muchas manifestaciones. Durante mi gobierno hemos... And in this city, city, we've had many manifestations and I have witnessed them by our government. Que aquí se respeta la libertad de expresión. And we have demonstrated that here we respect the liberty of demonstration. Pero también he dicho y he defendido siempre que la violencia no se puede combatir con más. But I've also said before that violence cannot be fought or combated with other acts of violence. Violencia. Lo que hoy vimos es algo muy distinto a una manifestación legítima y auténtica por una causa que justificaba. And so what we saw today was not a legitimate cause that was being fought. El hecho de hacer. That was being done just for the sake of being done. Lo explico de esta manera. And I explain it in this manner. Eh, el arranque de la manifestación. So as the manifestation took off. Había 150 personas en el Parque Rojo que marchaban. There was 150 people in the Red Park which were marching. Hacia el centro de la ciudad. Towards the center of the city. Como normalmente sucedía. The way it normally happens. Sin embargo, cuando llegaron ahí. But nonetheless, as they arrived there. De la nada. From nothing at all. Aparecieron grupos que estaban amotinados en distintos puntos del centro de Guadalajara. There appeared some groups that were gathered together in different parts of the city. Muchos de ellos que no son de aquí, de Jalisco. From the city of Guadalajara, which many are not from our city, Jalisco. Y de Guadalajara, que fueron los que generaron los actos de violencia que todos vimos. And they were the ones that committed or started the acts of violence, which we all saw. En las redes sociales y en las imágenes que han estado circulando. In the uh, social wo or worldwide webs and the images that have been circulating. En los medios de comunicación. In the communication media. Esos hechos ponen en evidencia que detrás de todo lo que está sucediendo en este caso. And these acts put into evidence that behind all these acts. En Jalisco. Hay that are happening in Jalisco. Intereses muy precisos y muy puntuales. That there are special interests that are very precise and very punctual. Construidos desde la Ciudad de México. That were constructed from the city of Mexico. Desde los sótanos del poder. Que lo from the, from the uh, basements of power. Que buscan es dañar a Jalisco. That are looking or seeking to damage Jalisco. No su gobierno necesariamente. Not its government necessarily. Dañar a nuestro estado. But they're trying to damage our state. Lastimar a nuestro estado en un momento difícil como este. And they're trying to damage our state in a time that is very difficult already. Estamos viviendo en medio de una emergencia sanitaria. Because we are living in a health uh, emergency during this time. Hoy los que atacaron palacio de gobierno destruyendo el patrimonio que es de todos los calicieros. And so those that went to the center of the uh, Jalisco in the, uh, I guess, where their, where their monuments are, they destroyed. Hoy, los que incendiaron, eh, patrullas. And those that burned the uh, patrol cars. De manera irresponsable. In an irresponsible way. Hoy, los que incluso se atrevieron a prenderle fuego a un policía. And those that even today decided and dared to set a policeman on fire. Fueron gente que buscaba otra cosa. And these were people that were looking for some other thing. Buscaban provocar al gobierno. They were trying to provoke or they were seeking to provoke the government. Y quiero decirles que no lo lograron. And I want to let them know that they were not successful. Hoy el gobierno de Jalisco y particularmente la policía de Guadalajara. Y la and today the government of Jalisco 
and especially the government of Guadalajara. And the police, uh, the state police, acted to the height of the circumstances. And they knew how to resist and not fall into provocation. No se cometió ningún acto de violencia contra los manifestantes. They did not commit a single act of against the manifestors. A pesar de que ellos hicieron lo que yo nunca había visto en una manifestación en Guadalajara. Even though they witnessed and tolerated things that I had never seen before in a manifestation in Guadalajara. Quiero decir eh, desde este momento. And I want to say from this moment. Que antes que como gobernador como tapatío. That before I was a government, a governor like in uh, Tapatio, I do not want this for my city. I want a city where you could manifest your ideas freely. And I want a city where people could display their anger without any preoccupation. De tener represión al hacerlo. That they would have repression by doing so. Pero yo no quiero una ciudad que use la violencia para defender causas. But I do not want a city that would use violence to defend causes. Eso no lo vamos a permitir. We will not permit this. Estoy seguro que comparto esta idea con la enorme mayoría de los tapatíos. And I am sure that I share this thinking with the vast majority of the people from uh, Tapatío. <laughs> I do not want to see my city on fire. And I want to speak to the people of Jalisco with all clarity. That we will not allow this to occur. That in Jalisco, Public order has to be emperor, or has to be the boss. Dando los derechos de todos, pero también pidiéndole a todos los manifestantes que quieran expresar sus ideas. And we will respect the rights, and we ask all the manifestors that want to manifest their ideas. Que lo hagan sin destruir lo que es de todos. And that they do this without destroying that which belongs to all. Hoy, en el Palacio de Gobierno. Hubo seis policías heridos. So today in the palace of the government, there were six injured policemen. Y uno que fue quemado. And one that was burned. Por los manifestantes. By the manifestors. Hubo 22 hombres detenidos y dos mujeres. There was 22 men detained and two women. Hubo tres patrullas quemadas. There were three uh, burned um, patrol cars. Y lo que vimos fue literalmente un asalto al Palacio de Gobierno. Cuando and what we saw was literally an assault on the palace of the government. Digo que asaltaron el Palacio de Gobierno, no lo digo preocupado. I say that they assaulted the palace of the government. I don't say it because I'm worried or preoccupied. Las puertas, las ventanas, los daños que hicieron a los materiales. The, the windows, the doors, the material things that they damaged. I say it because within the palace, there was uh, hundreds of people, and uh, many of them were women. And they were working, and they saw their lives were at risk. La policía aguantó más de dos horas adentro, sin Hacer nada más que contener. And the police stayed within two hours just by doing nothing other than containment. Hasta que ya eh, los actos de los eh, violentos estaban poniendo en riesgo la vida y la integridad de las personas. Until the acts of the uh, protesters were putting at risk the uh, lives of the people inside. Que estaban ahí en el palacio, gente trabajadora, gente people that were working, hard-working people ahí con su that were complying with their responsibilities. So the matter of all the things that they damaged, 
uh, that can be fixed. But the thing is that where they put so many people at risk, especially women, that cannot be contained. Quiero también aclarar que todas aquellas personas que fueron detenidas están en camino a la fiscalía para que se pueda hacer parte de lesiones. Para que... And so I say that all these people that were detained are now en route to the uh, district attorneys or the uh, attorney general's office to be processed. Esté todo claro, vamos a dar información de quiénes son. And because we want it to all be clear, we'll be giving the information y que están detenidos por lo que hicieron. And that they are detained for what they have done. No va a haber lugar a que se pueda interpretar que están detenidos de manera ilegal. Va a haber And it cannot be interpreted that they are being detained in an illegal manner. Absoluta claridad en el manejo de esta información. And we will be giving absolute clarity regarding the management of this situation. Y finalmente, ¿quién? And finally, quiero decirle a todos los calicienses. I want to say to all the people from Jalisco, Jaliscienses, que hay que pensar, eh, detenernos un ratito, a entender cómo se ha manejado esta historia. And so you need to take your time and think for a moment how this, in uh, history, how this has been handled. Para poder sacar nuestras propias conclusiones. So that you can come out with your own conclusions. La manera mentirosa como hicieron creer a los calicienses. In a way that was lies, the way they made the people from Jalisco believe, the Jaliscienses. Que a Giovanni lo habían detenido por no traer cubrebocas. Where they lied and said that Giovanni was detained simply for not having a mask on. Eso como ya lo aclaró la fiscalía, no fue así. And the way it's already been uh, uh, cleared up by the district attorney that that was not the case. Segundo lugar, como han querido hacer ver que fueron policías de Jalisco los que eh, cometieron este acto de abuso. And so they wanted it to look like it was police from Jalisco that had committed this abuse. Cuando en realidad fueron policías municipales, no hay ningún policía. Where it was in case, in this case, municipal police there was not a single one from Jalisco. Si or the state police that were involved. La manera como con millones de pesos de pauta en redes sociales hicieron eh, que esto creciera y fuera tomando fuerza. Y lo que hoy sucedió. Es... And so the way they spent millions of dollars or pesos in order to make this grow on the web. La cereza del pastel. Es... And now the cherry on top of the pie. Es... La manera como permitieron una manifestación eh, legítima. Una... The way they perverted a uh, manifestation uh, that was political, that was actually uh, legitimate. Manifestación que tenía una causa que defender. That had a cause to defend. Con infiltrados que generaron violencia. With people that infiltrated and generated violence. Vamos a ir demostrando con la información que vamos recabando, eh, lo que está sucediendo. And we will be demonstrating with what's going on as the information is filtered in. Solamente quiero dejar un mensaje. Muy the only thing is I want to leave you with one message. Muy claro. Y then make it very clear. Directo. Yo no sé hablar de otra forma. I don't know how to speak any other way. Le pido al presidente de la república que le diga a su gente y a su partido Ojalá estén midiendo lo que están haciendo. And I ask the president to talk to his people and to tell them to measure themselves in what they are doing. El daño que le están generando al país. The damage that they are generating to the country. Con este ambiente de confrontación. With this ambience of confrontation. Que son ellos justamente los que han generado todo esto. Que... Because it's them that have actually generated all of this which we are living through. La realidad es que la causa por la que hoy de manera eh, independiente y libre de manera So the reality is that the cause which we are living independently of the reality consciente muchos salieron a manifestarse la... 
and the, we are conscious that many went out to manifest comparto plenamente en Jalisco no puede haber abusos de la policía en Jalisco no se puede and I share with them uh, the belief that in that we should not have uh, the police involved in uh, these behaviors usar el poder para reprimir al pueblo la that you cannot use the power to repress the people. Policía, la fuerza pública, se está eh, y debe ser siempre eh, para estar cuidando la seguridad de todos. Para that the police should always be there to protect the safety and security of all. Garantizar el orden público y para garantizar también que siempre se respete el estado de. And that they should be there to guarantee public order, and that they be there to cause there to be respect. Derecho. Jalisco vas for rights and Jalisco will be a saber levantar la cara. able to lift their face Estoy seguro que lo que buscaban era que nos engancháramos. and so I am sure that what they were trying to do or seeking is to have us get locked in en una reacción violenta. in a violent reaction Hoy actuamos con dignidad y con altura de miras. and today we behaved with dignity and uh, high morals y supimos resistir y lo vamos a and we were able to resist a seguir haciendo as we will continue to do Jalisco va a seguir para adelante a pesar de todo vamos and Jalisco will continue forward regardless of it all vamos a seguir actuando con dignidad y vamos a seguir and we will continue to act with dignity defendiendo nuestra soberanía con todo lo que tenga and we will continue to defend our sovereignty with everything that we have vamos. hoy convoco una vez más a todos los calicienses a estar unidos y enfrentar este eh, desafío. And so I ask my people from Jalisco, the Jaliscienses, to get come to get all together and to um, fight this defiance. Como lo sabemos hacer juntos y trabajando. The way we know how to do it together and fighting. Juntos y entendiendo lo que está sucediendo juntos y con responsabilidad and understanding what is happening together and responsibly. Vamos a salir de esto. Hoy, and we will get ahead of this. And today is a sad day, but it's also an opportunity to reflect para lo que está Estoy, and to understand what is actually happening. And I am sure that this is how we will do it. Jalisco is too big a, a part or a piece uh, to have this happen, and we'll get ahead. Wow. <laughs> okay, so yes, apparently he blames the president and his people, uh, saying that they are the ones that um, had uh, planned all of this when, in fact, it was a well-known situation that um, they were involved in uh, wrongdoing. And so, uh, I don't think anybody believes it, but I translated it because I was asked to do so. Okay, thank you. Bye.